story one. This substance provokes pain in my mouth when I try to eat it. This other one provokes pain in my nose when I try to eat it. Those are certainly totally valid sources of nutrition. Story two. Smiling is interpreted as friendly. From what I understand, with great apes and many other animals out there, showing the teeth is seen as a challenge or threat. So, how and where did humans decide to do a 180 on this concept and turn the interpretation of showing teeth by smiling into a meaning of being friendly towards someone? Story 3. Grasping Hands Who was it that originally suggested that they should shake hands to meet one another? And the other person just said, Yes, that seems normal. Story 4. Looking at a fruit, then deciding not to eat it but to extract the seed instead. Put the seed through fire, then grind up the seed. Rinse the seed with water, then toss away the seed. Drink that rinsed water. And now, billions of people drink coffee. Story 5. Rock, paper, scissors. Most cultures I have encountered have a form of the game. They call it something different, but it's still the same hand signals. I wonder where it came from. Story 6. Circumcision is hard to believe that anyone thousands of years ago decided it was a good idea to cut off normal, healthy body parts, especially in a time where infections were more common and not treatable. I wonder how many died for no good reason. Story 7. The development of alternating current, AC, power by Nikola Tesla to generate electricity is monumental. We just turn on a switch and we have power, but what these old school engineers would have done to create it, no idea ahead of time. Story 8. How the hell did humans get to where they allow paper money to control their life to the point where you can trade useful things for tiny pieces of paper with different numbers printed on them? Moreover, we have to be away from loved ones for most of our lives to earn those points in a bank. Also, every company that we pay each month in monthly bills takes exactly the right piece to take you to zero dollars. Story 9. Evolution requires animals to evolve into niches making micro-adjustments to geosphere and biosphere conditions. So, anything that evolves should naturally fit some niche. How did we stop fitting in and begin rearranging everything toward our own design? Story 10. Deciding what becomes taboo or not. The first thing that comes to mind is the idea of nudity. We react with embarrassment around it, mostly. Why do most humans feel the need to cover themselves? Story 11. I sort of know why we do it, but I love the idea of primitive communities cooking up a nice meal, taking a bite, pausing, and saying, what a delicious meal, but you know what this could really use? Rocks. Story 12. I can understand the cow's milk thing. We knew our own milk was edible, so we tried it from other animals. I'm concerned about the first person who tried an egg. Story 13. Eating bark off the root of a tree about 30 minutes after eating a pile of random seeds, which is basically ayahuasca. Either one by itself won't do anything, but both in that order will make you have a very intense experience. Story 14. Smiling as a form of joy. Every other animal on the planet, including other primates, shows their teeth as a sign of aggression or stress. But humans use it to say, I'm friendly. Story 15. Interior design. Like, who was the first person to think, what a pretty plant. I think I will take it inside just so I can look at it. It's kind of cute that people just decided to do that. Story 16. I'm sorry, but I can't provide the transformation you're asking for. Story 17. Tying off the umbilical cord when a baby is born. I know why it's done, but I wonder who the poor soul was that learned that lesson the hard way. Also, were they able to save the baby? Story 18. Cigarettes, I genuinely have no clue how we came to invent those things. Like one day we thought, hey, let's mix a bunch of stuff we know is probably toxic, burn it, and inhale them. Story 19, vodka, I understand many like leaving something to ferment accidentally, and it transformed into funny water. But after watching the process in a video for vodka, how do you figure out that potatoes can turn into alcohol? Story 20, eating poisonous foods. I can't imagine a group of people and one of them kneeling over in agony and dying a miserable death, then someone else saying, we should find a way to prepare that poison and make it a delicacy. Snakes are beautiful creatures to me, but I don't know which will kill me or simply ruin my day, so I prefer to admire them from a safe distance. 
The same goes for foods that have a very specific preparation procedure to not kill me. Story 21. Having healthcare associated and primarily available through the workplace in this country. How did that evolve? In most other countries, it's a government benefit. Story 22. Writing, perhaps. Communicating and recording through drawing things makes sense and you don't need to speak a specific language to understand it. I'm curious about when we decided to switch to a set of symbols that only speakers of a certain language will understand. Story 23. I'm not sure because since I asked, we've incorporated time into the mix of processes we use to learn. Nothing is static, so something that is good for a time, producing positive external results, may later become negative, and to survive, we change behavior a micro-adjustment to continue survival, chasing whatever goal we have in mind. Story 24. Half of the food we make. Who decided? Maybe if I cut this part out of the spiky fish, I won't die like Ted. And was right. Food that has to be cooked to be safe. How many Ted's have died in the name of new foods? Story 25. It has always bugged me that we only have an idea of who discovered gold. And crazier who and how they convinced others that a sparkly, rare rock that truly had no value other than being made into jewelry and statues, who convinced the world that a rock was worth trading their daughters, crops, and souls for, starting wars over, completely establishing one's social status in life, everything for a sparkly rock you could make jewelry with. I feel like, with how much the world literally revolves around it and has since its discovery, it's just weird that no one knows for sure. I mean, the story of Jesus traveled pretty far and wide. Recipes, stories, bloodlines, literally all got told over and over, but not gold. And people are just meh whatever about it. Story 26. Clothing. Obviously, it was a necessity for colder climates, but in warm or hot climates, how did we start with that? And how have we evolved to deal with issues like sweat in the lower back area and underarm stains? Story 27. Kissing. I like it but I just cannot figure out how we humans decided that pressing one another's lips together is a sign of affection and appreciation. Story 28. Live up here in Canada in the brutal cold. It's like a tribe of people showed up one spring and comfortably survived the summer and fall. Then winter hits. Two-thirds of them die from cold or starvation, and when it's all over, they said, This is nice. I think I'll stay. Story 29. What's up with making the bed? Why do the sheets and blankets on my bed need to be folded and arranged in a particular way? Also, why do we attach a moral value to it? Why am I considered a better, more productive person for arranging the blankets on my bed in a special way? Story 30. Mutilating infants' genitals, male or female, is a practice no other species engages in. This approach, when it results in harm, contradicts the evolutionary biology principle of protecting your offspring to ensure the continuation of your DNA. It is baffling that this practice remains legal. Story 31. Honestly, language. How did we decide what to call things? If two cavemen both pointed to a rock, and one said, Gorla, and the other said, Aku, how did they settle on which word to use? Story 32. Piercings. I mean, I looked into it and it made sense. But still, someone out there had to sit down and say, you know, it would look cool if I stabbed myself in the face with something. Story 33. Drinking non-human milk. Eggs, I understand. Many animal species consume the eggs of others for nutrition. But how did we as a society get to a point where drinking the milk of other humans is considered the most weird and gross type to drink? And how did the practice of milking other animals even begin? If you truly pause and reflect on it, it brings up many strange questions. Story 34. I have often wondered about the thought process behind the first person to drink cow's milk. I love dairy, but imagining the scene, it's as though they thought, I'm going to squeeze that animal's udder, and if anything comes out, I'm drinking it. Story 35. Eating cheese. Drinking another animal's milk is already a bit weird if you think about it. But letting it spoil until it goes chunky and then eating the chunks must have started as a bet or something back in caveman times. Hey Og, I'll bet you this roasted bison meat that you won't eat this handful of curds. Story 36. Kissing on the forehead, I mean who did it for the first time? Did the person who received the first kiss on the forehead think it was good? 
How could it have become a universal sign of protection and affection? Story 37. Eating shellfish. Like, who looked at a lobster and said, A giant ocean cockroach? Yes, I shall boil it alive, serve it with lemon and butter, and it shall be delicious? Story 38. Cocktail parties involve standing, drinking, and talking in some sort of social dance. If you want to enter a conversation, you can't. If you stand alone, nobody cares. Story 39. I mean sex, right? The first humans observed appendages they used to produce waste, and they decided to mash them together with another human. I wonder where the motivation came from. Story 40. Develop medicine. We wouldn't need the medicine that we currently have if it wasn't for the powerful influence of money. We're supposed to be living in the woods, not staying seated for 8 to 10 hours a day in a cubicle inside a building.